Hello folks, just want to give you another little update on the Land Cruiser here. Um, it's been coming along, like like I said, it's been slow progress, but um, it's looking pretty nice. I've got it all finished, uh, at least the stuff I've been working on at this point. I was able to do the rocker panel underneath the truck before I put the floorboards or the running boards back on I wanted to touch all this up and so I removed all these moldings sanded all this area painted this whole area that was all scuffed and <clears throat> dirty and yeah let me tell you it looks nice and then I found the paint the exact color of the truck in an aerosol can so it's just been you know a rattle can kind of project but I did the same thing on all four doors and did the whole underside of this rocker and then I did this repair that I had shown you previously where that little area was compromised so I had to kind of rebuild it I didn't want to like blend it, cut it and mold it and put bondo so I just kind of put a cover on it and then some rivets just like I did the the rear section there on that other video I showed you so I did the same thing and rebuilt this whole little area did the whole rocker panel underneath and yeah let me tell you it looks nice so this whole section here is ready to go I've been working on the paint I took a clay bar and just kind of cleaned all this area and boy there's so much gunk even after the, all the desalting and the degreasing and the, you know wash I gave it a few a few weeks ago I was still able to take out so much gunk from the paint that I mean it even looks like brand new glossy shiny smooth as glass with no no defects and then uh, I did this whole panel and I'm still I'm still working on the truck but I need to do the spoiler up here with a clay bar and just actually do the whole truck with a clay bar and I did I've done this whole panel here up to almost to the edge here I don't know if you can tell in the lighting here but I only got to about as far as here so this is done and then this is not done and you can tell there's there's a lot of gunk on that paint compared to over here where it's like nice smooth glass you know and then there's also a way to clean all the glass too to give it that same glass finish super smooth and no defects this rear uh, bumper came out nice with its mud flaps um, I'm really impressed uh, the way it's turning out and right now I'm working on sliding the fuel tank underneath with its new brackets and support plug it all in connect the hoses and then it'll be good to go and I'll work on the running boards but yeah so I just want to show you this whole area that got touched up painted it looks brand new blended the paint in here and it's the same color it matches exactly but I gave it a nice blend and then um, so yeah, so it's just coming along. That's the latest update. I, I put the molding back, this one that I had to take off. And then this is just paper I have here, like protecting, protecting the bumper, just so that, you know, as I'm working in this area, none of this debris falls on the, on the surface. I'm trying to keep it protected here and it's coming along so the fuel tanks next and then the running boards all right folks we'll talk to you soon thank you and god bless hello youtubers i uh, haven't made a video in a few days uh this is just uh, another little follow-up on the latest on the, my land cruiser so i was able to put these rear wheels back on and the new tires I think I showed you the rear bumper bumper already. 
So let's see uh, what else. Oh, I put the running boards on both sides and all the inside little covers and shields and stuff that goes in here and and it's all it's all ready to go um i'll be putting this front tire on uh next i just want to work on on that link i just didn't need to put that link in there for the sway bar and and then i can put the tire and then jump to the other side and do the same thing but it's coming along really well. I'm really pleased the way things are turning out. I don't know if you can notice this front fender. It's like super glossy. And I haven't even polished it yet. <laughs> All I did was like, uh, I ran the clay bar on it. And then I put this little molding on a few minutes ago. And you know, I had, um, I just clay barred the whole thing with this, uh, where is it? This this Maguire thing. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, it comes with everything you need, and three bars of clay. So I still need to do the two doors right here. Um, but they don't. They're not too bad. But I will run the clay bar on there, and then once I do the whole thing with clay, then I'm gonna. Um, just follow the steps that it says you know there's a compound you need to buff it with and then a polish and then there's actually a sealer that goes after the polish so there's a process and a method to the madness but once you do it all man it turns out your paint's good for another 20 years and and I did the rear part I don't know if you can tell the difference there the rear part's been clayed already so you can just kind of put run your hand on it you feel all these imperfections on the paint oxidation but once you do run the clay it's like super smooth like glass this is all nice and there's no defects any little buff and everything the clay takes everything off i did the rear tailgate here with the clay i need to still clean the glass it also has like these little i don't know oxidation or even glass um, needs to be polished and then there's some overspray actually here so I need to wipe all that off but the paint itself is like glass and I haven't even polished it yet so it's turned out nice this little rust repair that was here looks good once I put the molding here you won't even be able to see it uh, and I need to polish this also still so uh, the match paint that I bought uh, fit was a perfect match in the color. I did all this with the clay and cleaned all these little areas in here and the clay does a wonderful job, perfect. And clean everything off. And then I'll be getting a new wiper blade. So it's coming along nice, you know. I'm really happy with it. Um, yeah, this rear portion has been clayed up to about here. And then I'll be doing the whole thing with clay. And then I'll run the buffer, the polish, and the wax. But these running boards turn out really, really nice, secure, all the rust issues. This is how it turned out, this little patch area. I'm happy with it. I was going to actually put more rivets here just to give it that rivet look. But eh. then I'll just leave it alone. It looks fine just like that. All this got repaired nice. There's no more rust anywhere. The fender well, everything. All these, all this stuff is like super secure. It's not loose, it's not nothing. Everything's like better than new, actually. Um, I'm happy with it. And then, so I'm making my way around the front now. I'll be doing the same thing over here. Put the tire on and then we can put the rack and pinion back on. And then, oh, there's that fender well for the left side. And then start putting all this back together with the headlights, the new headlights, the front bumper, and, and all that. And then it'll be ready, man. Another few more weeks. All right, folks. Oh, we still got to work on the water pump. That's going to be the last stage. This whole front end here. 
but I'll keep posting more videos. If you like them so far, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. And as they pop up, I'll you know you'll get notified that there's a new video. Just to check it out. Or if you got suggestions, comments, concerns, let me know. You know I'm open for suggestions. We can talk about it. All right. Talk to you soon. And uh, oh, and then I did this fender well on the inside of the engine bay. I had to take all this off mask everything and then I just kind of sprayed up to about there in the middle and I still need to do the other side but it's looking good man all this remember the rust that was here I put put a couple patches there oh I wanted to show you these these patch thing repairs that um, I haven't seen any videos anywhere or anyone talking about this but this is actually a roll of um tape i'll show you here in just a second and it's got aluminum on this side and then the other side's got that uh super sticky stuff um, i'll show you but check this out it's actually um it's actually a roof flashing tape it's called tight seal for doors and windows self-adhesive waterproof uh Stops mold, eliminates drafts, keeps out moisture, save energy, blah, blah, blah. But it has, uh, man, I forget what it's called, neoprene or something, super sticky stuff. Uh, butyl, it's something butyl, butyl, something or other. Anyways, it's actually a roofing, a roofing uh, material that I used over here in automotive. And, and it's like wow highly recommend it super sticky stuff um, it'll stick to anything but once you, you put it down you, you, you will not be able to take it off it's uh, it's there for life <laughs> and then the other side has aluminum so you're able to actually like contour like this area here has some contour. I don't know if you can see how it kind of drops right here. It's got a couple of bumps. And I was able to cut it with this pair of scissors. I was actually going to put like one big patch right here. But I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to make two separate patches. But anyways, this stuff is like badass. And then once it was down, I painted this whole area. Primered it and then painted it. And... Yeah, it's like some good stuff. I even used some of that tape uh, on a repair. Man, I should have shown you before I put all this. But it's, you might be able to see a little bit of it right here. All this was rusted. So this is actually that tape. I just contoured it and it's flexible and it sticks to the metal. The rusty area I cut off as much as I could and painted it and then just covered everything with this. And it goes around the back and then you can see the seam right here where it's going down and then goes down this way and it blends in like perfectly to everything and it sticks like like gum or more or worse or better super sticky stuff I also put new clips on all these little shields um, some of the old clips broke so I had to replace a few of them. These are all new clips. And that's it. That's where, that's where I'm at right now. Just wanted to give you an update. And uh, show you the progress. It's looking nice. So far so good. Alright folks. We'll talk to you on the next one. Take care. Oh and keep your hands clean. And wear a mask if you got one and stay home <laughs> so this stuff is like uh, spreading around everywhere we're towards the end of march 2020 um yeah and i don't know what's gonna happen next but i'm here at home doing what i like to do uh hobbies whatever and staying away from the public uh so good luck folks talk to you soon